Welcome to Pilates and Yoga with Katja. It's really nice to see you. So I had a request for a workout that focuses on toning the waist. So this is what I'll have for you today. We're going to start by just centering on the front and then we'll move our way out to the side. Okay, so let's begin. Come down onto your mats. We're going to start seated. The legs out in front of you. Have your feet, knees in line with your hips. And then hold onto the back of the legs. Sit up nice and tall. Let's take a nice deep breath in here. And a soft exhale out through the mouth. Centering yourself in your body, inhaling. As you exhale, start to curl gently back into a C curve. Right now, you're focusing on your abdominals, drawing in nice and flat. Inhale, roll yourself all the way back up. Sit up nice and tall again. Exhaling, curling back again. Sit bones gently coming forwards as you roll back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, curl. Keeping your shoulders nice and relaxed. Inhale, roll up again. Exhale, curl. Now this time, find a place where you feel your abdominals are switched on, but you feel secure in maintaining it. Bring your fingertips together. Inhale, take your chest over to your left side. Lower your hands down. Inhale, lift to the center. Exhale, down to the right. Inhale, lift. To the left, inhale, lift, down to the right. So now we start to get into our obliques, the muscles that run diagonally across the front of our tummy. They also work in our waist. And switch, and switch, and switch. Come back to the center, hold onto the back of the legs again, and roll yourself all the way back up. Sit up super tall, inhale, exhale. We're going to roll ourselves all the way down, come down through your lower back, and then we'll stop when we'll just feel the shoulder blades, the tips of the shoulder blades are just about to touch the floor. Adjust your feet, bring your feet in a little bit, reach your fingertips forwards. Inhale here, Exhale, with your left fingertips, reach towards your left foot. You're doing a side bend in that abdominal curve. Inhale, center, go over to the right side, side bending to the right. Breathe in, breathe out, switch. Inhale, exhale, reach. So small movements, side to side. Every time you can try and see, look at your foot. And reach. Last two, and reach. Come back to the center, rest your head all the way down, hug your knees in towards that chest. Just give yourself a gentle rock from here. Hands around the back of your thighs, roll yourself all the way up, and let's make our way onto our hands and knees. On your hands and knees, place your hands slightly further forwards, then your shoulders. And you're going to make some lovely big circles. This way we can just warm up through our wrists, circling around. Keep breathing, inhaling, exhaling. Let's change direction. Just enjoy this movement. You might like to close your eyes and just tuning in, feeling your body. Bring yourself all the way back to the center and let's readjust so that now the hands are under the shoulders, knees right under your hips. From here, extend your left leg out long behind you, reach your leg away. Now bend your knee and bring your knee as high as you can out to the side towards your left arm. From there, extend your leg behind you and then cross it over to the right. You can try and look over your right shoulder to see your foot and lift your leg back up. Now we'll go a little bit more flowing. Tuck the knee towards your left arm, extend it back, cross it over, tap and lift. And again, bring the knee in, 
you're shortening your waist, extend, and then you are working through the other side. Let's go, two more times, knee in, extend, cross it over, tap lift, and in, extend, make sure your abdominals are working, supporting you, reach your leg out behind you, feel the crown of the head forwards, reaching forwards, abdominals nice and strong, squeeze your glutes and hamstrings, and relax your leg all the way down. Let's go straight to the right side. Extend your right leg back, inhale. Exhale, bring the right knee as high as you can towards your right arm. Inhale, extend. Exhale, cross over, tap and lift. And again, right knee tucks up high. Stretch it back, cross over, look over your shoulder and lift. Keep going, three more to go. Good. And in, extend, go back and lift. Last one, tuck it up high, reach it back, cross and lift. Again for a moment, holding the position, feeling the opposition, toes reaching back, crown of the head reaching forwards. Release your leg down, sit yourself all the way back onto your heels. Inhale, take a nice big stretch with your arms all the way up. Exhale, open the arms all the way down. Now come forwards onto your elbows. Elbows underneath your shoulders. You can clasp your hands or if you prefer, your hands can be flat or fists. From here, stepping your feet back into a forearm plank. Your feet are about hip distance apart. Let's take a moment to find that good position in your forearm plank, tailbone reaching to the heels, pushing the floor away, all the muscles in the front body are working. Inhale. Now as you exhale, start to swivel your heels to the right until the heels are touching the mat. Resist your hips dipping down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, swivel your heels to the left. Nice and slow with control. Inhale, lift. Swivel your heels to the right. Brilliant. And one more time to the left. Good. Go to the right again. You can continue like this. Or you might be able to take your left hand and stretch it up. You're in your side plank. Hand down. Heels lift. Swivel your heels to the left side. Stop there. Or reach your right arm up in your side plank. Keep lifting your hips. Feel that bottom waist working. Two more to go, inhale, heel swivel down, maybe going all the way into your side plank and come back and over, keep lifting your waist, one arm goes up and come back, lower your knees all the way down, once more sit back into your heels, roll yourself all the way up, a beautiful big stretch with the arms up again, inhale reach. Exhale, arms all the way down. Good, take your hands forwards again. We'll back up on our hands. And this time, we'll step back in our plank here. Good. Now bring the right knee forwards into the chest. Step your right foot over your left foot to the left side. Swivel the heels down like you just did. Keep your chest facing down. Inhale, lower your hips an inch. Exhale, lift the hips up, lower the hips an inch, lift up, feel those right side obliques working, lift up, these are very small movements, lift, one more, and lift, hold it, if you can, take your left arm and reach your left arm up nice and high, keep lifting your waist, stretch your left arm over, release your hand down, Facing down to the mat, right knee tucks in, step it back, second side, bring your left knee in, step it over the right foot, swivel your heels to your left side, look down between your hands, let the hips come down an inch and push the floor away, down, push the floor away, down and lift, down and lift, down and lift, pause, hold the position. Optional, take the right arm and stretch your right arm up. 
Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Reach your arm over. Bring your arm back down. Face the mat. Left knee comes in. Step your foot back. Bring your knees down. Rest in child's pose. Let's take your hands down beside your body. Just flip your hands a little bit to release your wrists. And one more time, rolling yourself up. Beautiful big stretch with the arms up. Inhale, reach. Exhale, releasing your arms down. Good. Now come and face me. We're going to come down one more time onto our elbow. But this time we're in a side position. The bottom leg is bent. The top leg is straight with your foot flexed. Your underneath arm is right under your shoulder. Now make sure you're really lifting your bottom waist. From here, inhale. Exhale, lifting your hips up, reaching your top arm up to the sky. Bring the hand behind your head. Press the head a little bit into your hand so the head is not poking forwards, it's in line with your spine. Now continue to breathe. And we'll do tiny lifts with the hips up and up and up and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch out the top arm, lower yourself down. Good. Sit yourself up, mermaid position, legs here or any other leg position that's more comfortable for you, stretch out the arm that you have been leaning on. Let's give it a nice big stretch. And then lift yourself all the way back up. And we lie back down again. Same position. Now you have a choice. You can repeat exactly the same. Bottom leg bent, top leg straight. If you want a more challenging version, you can straighten out your bottom leg, tuck it under the top leg. Inhale, exhale, lift the hips back up again, finding your balance, top hand behind your head. Take care of your neck so that your head's not hanging down. Think about it's in line with your spine. Lower the hips a tiny bit, lift the hips up and lift and lift. Draw the abdominals in nice and tight, lift. Four. Three, two, one. Very nice. Come all the way down. Release your top hand down and lie yourself all the way down onto your side. Feel free to tuck your cushion between your arm and ear to have your neck more supported. Now if you check, when you look down you can see your feet, they're just a little bit forwards. Keep your feet still flexed. Now the top hip Try and lengthen it away from the bottom ribs. So you create a tiny gap under your bottom waist. We're going to try and maintain this. So let's imagine we could slide a piece of paper under here. We're not going to crunch into it. Inhale, exhale, long legs. See if you can lift your legs up, but not lose that gap under your waist. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lengthening and lifting. Inhale, lower. Keep that waist nice and long. That means your top waist is very long as well. And lower. One more here, lifting. And lower. Now we're going to do the opposite. Point your toes. And this time, can you lift the legs as high as possible and allow the top hip to move up to say hello to your bottom ribs? and then lower down and lengthen away. Inhale, exhale, lifting the legs nice and high, feeling the hip now clearly moving up towards the ribs and lower down. If you have good balance, we can add an arm movement, stretch the top arm up, inhale, exhale, lift the legs, top hip is hiking up, we're going to add on, lift the chest and head a little bit. So we feel the top side really strongly contracting. Inhale, lower the legs, head down, arm up. Exhale, reach the fingertips towards your legs. Again, mindful of the head, not poking forwards. Inhale. 
exhale. Go one more, inhale. Exhale, hold that position. Feel that work on the top side of your waist, your abdominals. Breathe in. Breathe out, relax all the way down. Good, well done. Let's do the same on the other side. So turn yourself around. We'll start on our forearm with the bottom leg bent, top leg straight. Check that your leg is right in line with your body. Lift the underneath thigh, really, really important. Your shoulder is drawing down the rib cage, away from your ear. Inhale, exhale, lift the hips up. Top hand behind your head, tiny pulses. Let the hips come down a little. Lift and lift and lift. Very small. Abdominals drawing in. Two more. Lift, lift. Stretch your arm up. Lower yourself down with control. Sit yourself back up. Come back over into your mermaid stretch. Any leg position if that doesn't work for your knees. And sit yourself all the way up nice and tall. Come back down again, second repetition. So again, you might choose to repeat the same version with the bottom leg bent, top leg straight, or more challenging, extend the bottom leg out, flex your feet, pretend as if you're standing on your feet, so really check the alignment. Lift the underneath waist, inhale, exhale, lift your hips up, again top hand behind the head, beautiful long line through your body, lower and lift, down, lift and lift and four, it's very small, five, six, seven, eight, nine, turn, stretch your arm out, Lower yourself slowly down, beautiful. Come all the way down on your arm. Feel free to tuck your cushion between your arm and head to support your neck. Keep your feet flexed. So the first round, we're gonna lengthen the top hip away. Keep the waist really nice and long. Feel that small gap under your bottom waist. Inhale, exhale. Can you lift the legs? But try not to lose that space under your bottom waist. Inhale, lower down. It's probably a very small movement. Lengthen and lift. Legs squeeze together. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lengthen and lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lengthen and lift. Inhale, lower. One more here. Lengthen and lift. Lower down, now stretch the toes away. Now we're gonna do the opposite. Lift the legs up again, but this time your legs go nice and high. You feel that bottom waist going down. The top hip is hiking up. So you're really contracting that top waist now. Inhale, lower. Try again, exhale. Make sure you're staying right on the side of your body. Inhale, down. Good, adding the arm if you have good balance. And lift the legs, reach with your fingertips towards your legs. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lengthening. That top waist is strongly contracting now. And lower. Exhale. Inhale, lower, last one. Exhale, hold that position. Draw your shoulder down, reach, 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 reach. And relax. Excellent. Good. Let's come all the way up into a high kneeling position. Feel free to pad your knees so your knees are nice and comfortable. Open your arms out to the side. Lengthen your tail down. Still got your super strong support from your center. Inhale. Exhale. Let's bend over towards your right side. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, over towards the other side. Inhale, lift. Now come back over onto the right side. 
and then extending the left leg out and away. You can relax your heel down. From here, we're going to inhale, lift, feeling the side body contracting and then stretching up and over towards your straight leg. Inhale, lift, with control, lower yourself slowly down, stretch the top arm over and again. Lift yourself up, that waist is working. Reach over, inhale, and exhale, find length again. One more, we're alternating between contracting the waist and lengthening, and going over. Now we're gonna stay for a moment. Breathe in, reach up to the sky, Exhale, belly draws in even stronger. Thread the top arm underneath and reach behind you. Inhale, take your arm up. Exhale. Inhale up. You can keep it like this or again a more challenging version. Step your bent leg behind your straight leg and let's try here. Thread and reach your arm up. Thread the needle with your top arm and reach the arm up. Hold it. Bring your back leg all the way down. Stretch your arm one more time over a big, 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 big reach and lift yourself all the way up. Tuck your straight leg in. Sit down to your heels. Inhale, let's have a lovely big stretch up. Exhale, open your arms, rise up onto your knees, second side, inhale, exit, side bend, place your left hand against your thigh, stretch your right arm up, inhale, and exhale, reach, breathe in, now we go off to the left side, so reach your hand away, Take the right leg out, stretch your leg heel down, stretch your top arm over. Breathe in here, breathe out. Your waist is going to contract to help you lift and bend towards your straight leg. Inhale up and over, stretch. Continue, lift and reach and up. And over, one more, so try not to just push up with your hand, but really feeling your side body work. This next one, we're gonna stay all the way down. Stretch up through the top arm, thread the needle, contract. Inhale, lift your arm up. Exhale, contract as your arm goes under and back and up. Again, maybe continuing here or more challenging, straighten the bend leg behind the top leg and under and lift and under and lift. Good job, relax, lift yourself all the way, back up again, tuck in your straight leg. Let's take a moment in child's pose. Take your arms beside your body, hands near your feet, and just move your hands a little bit to release your wrists. And then roll yourself up to sitting. Big stretch with your arms up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, draw your palms down to your heart. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. See you soon.